Okay, I'm here today um, with Catherine Ganakis of the OCB Administrative Services. And we're gonna do a little training video on how to make um, workshop bound workbooks. Catherine, can you show us what the finished product is gonna look like? Yes, indeed. Here we have a finished bound workbook. Okay, and I see it, the, the word is backwards, but we're not gonna worry about that. It's just the artifact of the video. All right. Okay. So Catherine, what are the, the pieces that you need to make a workbook? Can you show us the, the components? So you got a cover, yes. a cover, cover, a backside, and the it's contents, the right? The contents. And then you've got the little, what do you call comb. that thing? The little comb, okay. And we have a machine. And a machine. So we don't have an actual workbook to make this time, but you're just gonna demonstrate the steps so we can do this in the future. So Absolutely. what's the first step? Well, uh, first you would do, you would print out your product right. minus the first page. And then okay. you would determine whether or not, of course, from page two onward, you want it single or double-sided. That is very important if you want the first page to be by itself. Okay. So then what we're going to do... Let's assume, we've, let's assume we've done that, okay? okay. And, and you've got your output there. Okay. Then we're going to, the next step is to punch everything. And that's what you want to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure. And, and you're and you're punching the the content separate from the covers. Is that true? Uh, you could do it either way, but yes, because this is made out of stronger material, it's probably thicker, a little harder to okay. deal with. So what I like to do is just say uh, this little button has the word letter in it. Let me see if I can get a little close up on that button or a little closer. I guess I can't really. But you're going to press that little button, and, and then what does the what does the button say? It says letter. As long okay. as it's not all the way in the front or all the way in the back, it should be centered. Okay. That lets you know it's in the correct position. All right. The, the other thing you have to make sure is this little button right here yep. has to be pushed all the way back. Okay. Or that lever. Yeah, that lever, and that's all you need to do. Okay. Then you pick maybe five to seven sheets if you're lucky. Maybe stick close to maybe five. Okay. And you just make sure it's even. And what you're going to notice, and if you find that there's some resistance, use fewer pieces of paper. Okay. So what you're going to notice is you can push it. You want to stand to the yes. side a little bit when you do that. Uh, okay. You can push it and you're going to notice that you can't go any farther. Okay. Feel and then kind of push it to the left here. Make sure your, your back and to the left in a tight little lock there. Okay. And then once you do that, you want to press down. Voila. It's hole punched. It's Very hole good. Punched. And then you're going to take, I usually just take. And, and, you're, and you're going to repeat that for all the pages for and everything. for all, all the for work everything. that you have to do. And you're going to do the same thing with the cardstock. You're probably going to take fewer. You're going to feel a little bit more of a, a hardness to that. Again, yeah. just make sure that it's not too thin. You'll have to re right. reprint out. So, so it seems like the, the hole punching is the hardest part of this yes. process, right? People usually have to throw away some paper if they rush through the process. Okay. Next, so, make, so make yourself a few extras, I guess. Yes. So now what we do is we're going to compile the notebook. Right. I have a, we're going to assume that this is the first page of our product. Right. Well, like I know that for the workbooks we made before, we did a transparent cover. Yes. So, so that's possible, but for this purposes, we're just gonna have yes. a plain yellow cover. Exactly. Right? And for the transparency, of course, you do the exact same thing. Right. So we are going to put this together. Right, so we got our, our cardstock cover on the front and the back, and okay. we have, now okay. you got the comb. Now I got the comb. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this comb in with the opening facing up. And I'm going okay. to distribute it equally from either side. Okay. So I'm going to put it right in the middle. I'm going to press down with my fingers, making sure that it's in line with these little. Catherine, um, I, I think because the shot's so long, can you bring the machine closer to the camera here sure. so we can see this a little bit sure. better? So it's hard to tell, but there are little steel grips right. here, teeth, which you all you need to make sure of because the machine will do the rest is that. This comb is flush in between. These little particles are flush in between all these teeth. So I see that they are. Then I take this, um, I take this lever, and it, if you'll notice, it pulls out this little 
a comb to create an opening where I can insert the product, the, uh, the workbook. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, so it's going to be the cover first, and I'm going to match it up, and I'm going to go like that. Voila. Okay. And then I'm going to push this back, and that's enough. And, and there you it. have it. And that would be the completed workbook. That's the completed workbook. Right. Of course, if you do the transparency, you want to make sure you have several. Um, you usually have to toss the one on top because they tend to have these little plastic chads that are left over. Yeah. So just make sure you have enough. If you do a single transparency, it won't work. Okay. All right. And that is All right. it. All right. Thank you very much, Catherine. You're welcome.